where there is a layering of the space of several canvases, which was not in his earlier works. We saw one flatness, coloristic colors, movement dynamics and so on. Abdukarim was able to overcome the plane of the picture, which is limited to canvas. He's moved on, because it's a stream, you can't stop it. Isa Abdukarim was born in Kashgaria, comes from a very notable kind of merchants, known for their education and culture. His father was engaged in patronage and in every way supported the young Isa and his passion for painting. He studied at the Almaty Art School, at the theatre department. The first tiger was a small work done in the tempera technique, a tiger cup coming out of red grove. In 1993, at the Central Asian Biennale, he presented a triptych with his tigers. The well-known artist and Gexis Hakov approached him and prophetically spoke, make the tiger the basis and you will succeed. Yes, the tiger at the very beginning was a popular folklore, remarkable for its coloristics and design. Tiger is a symbol his tiger is a totem, it is a symbol of ancestors going to the depth of the past. There is a lot of mystery in it, it is mysterious, it is like a real big, it reflects the phenomenon, like a glass ball. This is the brightness and singularity of these incarnations. Every artist has a certain basic line, Abdul Karim's line has become a tiger, he always talks about it that a tiger is not an animal, it is an expression, a symbol, a value, a polysemy and some such method of expression. В искусстве наших предков, в искусстве саков тигра хауда очень ярко проявился этот образ. Наши древние предки, они хотели... In the art of our ancestors, in the art of saka tigra hauds, this image is very clearly represented. Our ancient ancestors wanted to take the qualities of this animal, his invisible strength, his power, his fearlessness in the fight against the enemy. Therefore, wars as a totem wore the image of this animal, including the golden man. You will find planks with depiction of a tiger's face on golden man. It is very interesting to know, in connection with the image of a tiger, this is a reconstruction of the collective image of Saka war, our famous scientist Kirill Maltembekov. Kirill Maltembekov reconstructs military armor, a collective image of this Saka war, on which there was an image of a tiger. This is from the Mount Bigil Tobi. Europeans call leopard. In Turkic languages it is Jolbarus. So they call the boys to be strong, brave, indestructible. We have a hockey team called Baris. And of course it joined our art. And for me, in the work of Abdul Karim, the tiger is a conductor. If a person has seen this, then he will understand. He needed a path, then this path will be a good straight road. He walked this way with fast, confident steps. And I remember when he created dozens of works in those years. Issa Abdul Karim, the only artist in Kazakhstan, who was awarded the gold medal, the most prestigious award at the Cannes Art Festival in France. 300 artists from all over the world presented their works, but a great success among connoisseurs of art went to Issa Abdul Karim. His paintings hang on billboards in these days of the festival. They hit the catalog of international European painting, prestigious and rare recognition of professional art business, and this was immediately appreciated by curators of exhibitions in Milan, Paris and Istanbul. He is a member of the International Triennale of Painting in Sofia, the Art Me Festival in Moscow, and also a among of private collections around the world. 
When my works were presented in France, I thought, at least to get into the catalogue of some kind. I got into the catalogue. I could not enjoy it. I showed to everyone. There were huge banners. At first I felt almost nothing, just felt tired. When art critics see my works, for example in Moscow, Leningrad, they say that this is the modern art of Western countries. The modern world is global reality. This is an Oriental Buddhist tradition. It has long become a part of the European and American culture and Central Asian culture. And therefore, seeing this, we will know that this is already there. There is no clear indication in it. It is Eastern or European art. It is cosmopolitan. It is already becoming, but retains its rigid, clear national features. Because national art grows its spirit, strength, its external form, but the content is universal. That is good and evil. It, however, does not depend on nationality, geographical location. All the works of Abdukarim that we saw, they have content. The point is that there is this attitude. He may not even know about it. This attitude has a certain energy. One cannot even argue about these. These are obvious things. This is an extraordinary man, very clever, very talented. And this is what these works demonstrate, the qualities of a great artist and it attracts the attention of scientists and ordinary people, because it tightens in itself, as if visually and mentally. Therefore, it cannot leave anyone indifferent. Connection with what the artist does with traditional calligraphy in the speed of expression of thoughts. Thought and what you write at the same time. But if Uyghur calligraphy means thinking through a letter, then creative artistic means Thinking through a tiger, the artist recreated more than 500 tigers. Striped brindle color is life and death, day and night, masculine and feminine. The alternation in our lives of periods of success and failure, love and hate, beautiful and ugly. <laughs> I was dissuaded by friends. They said that you are stuck with these tigers. I took this brightness from my people. And the fact that tigers are not just my invention. Everybody was surprised. How have you worked for 20 years? Because all the works are purely full carpets. We still have carpets where we can see such tigers. These carpets also help me. In the end, there is eternal beauty, there is eternal harmony. It does not depend on what kind of artist when he worked, a thousand years ago or today. Despite the temporality of creativity, the temporality of the concept, it is very clearly expressed, as in many works of contemporary artists. Exactly, this is a characteristic feature of modern art of the present. This is the ability to make the past modern. Вот, пожалуйста, старинный Коран. Это 1285 год. Выдающиеся каллиграфы Востока, прежде всего Центральной Азии, ценились на весь золото. Here you are, the old Quran. The year is 1285. Outstanding calligraphs of the East, especially Central Asia, were valuable, and their works could be compared with outstanding works of artists of the Renaissance. The Quran was written for very wealthy people. It is an expensive pleasure. The Quran cannot be stored on the lower shelves. The Quran cannot be kept on the table. Grandmothers made such a handbag, you see, velvet. A case for Koran is very old, and at the same time, it was used as a bag. There was such a wonderful papier-mâché case, ordinary cardboard, 
which was glued together from strips of paper and varnished, but sometimes they were paintings. A column was a pen. Here you are, ordinary reeds, sharpened. The ink was made from plants and soot. By the way, here is the inkwell. It could be taken on the road. Ink put into it, took out a pen, opened the lid, and here you are. This metal is brass. They were beautifully decorated. Here is the image of a turtle. I am proud of this. A road inkwell. Przewalski, Chokan Valihanov, noted the incredible love of the Uyghurs for flowers. And here the flower ornament, always so common in general for the Uyghur people. As for the image of animals and birds, this is one of the favorite topics. The most prominent phenomenon in everyday life was the carpet. The more carpets in the house, the richer the person. If Uyghur carpets were decorated with geometric ornaments, as a rule they were decorated with geometric patterns. These are the carpets of Kashgar and Aksu. There are songs about them, a lot of legends. Tiger is associated with passion, fertility and childbirth. In the East, so that the young wife lived in the world, sculpted tiger figures from dove and they took them with them to a future life. The source of inspiration for the artist was the traditional Uyghur ornament, carpet with animals, birds, flowers and trees on it. Of course, the paintings of Issa Abdukarim require the highest professionalism and precision of the brush. The essence of all spiritual is that outside the material world a person accumulates a certain energy and says in this case, and if you are lucky, you will hear it. The artist is called to this world to wake up this force, movement in us. He is just such an artist who indeed erases the dust of everyday life from our soul, purifies our consciousness, sight, sensations. Anyway, he is trying. I think he does it very well. He will continue to do so. Isam Dukari draws our attention to the legend of Confucius. In the 6th century, a baby was born in the city of Khufu. The child was so ugly that his parents brought him to a high mountain and left him there to die. For several hours the boy lay there alone until a tiger saved him. When the philosopher served as an official in the kingdom of Lo, he took a vow to create the doctrine of the tiger and devote himself to it. Unfortunately, or fortunately, he didn't have enough years to accomplish this mission. He had a different mission. Issa Abdul Karim was lucky to go on the path that he had been destined from above. That is how it was. Here is the sore. I understood then, and the doctors told me, it is very big burden. I started a triptych in the morning finished at night. The artist cannot force himself to stop. The artist works when the brain works at full capacity. When he sits somewhere, the brain works on its theme. This is how the tiger way begins. And to look at these works, it is necessary for an artist to have the talent of an artist, but also for the viewer to have the talent of the viewer, to be able to look at the pictures and look exactly sincere, without prejudice. It is not so easy to do. The artist helps us. This brightness of color, it excites. The artist himself said that every picture I have comes from the heart. These are his personal words. In this phrase, probably everything lies. The mystery of it is the attractiveness of the paintings. 
Our desire is to look at them, to enjoy and live our life, already inspired by communication of a great master. It is very quiet in the Hall of Museum. Those spectators who came to look at the artist's pictures for some reason speak in a whisper. Are they afraid to wake the beast in the tiger skin, which is ready to jump out of the canvas at the first call? Or is he so handsome in a combination of colors – red, blue, yellow, orange – that the words freeze before they spill out in the emotional cry? Anyway, all this is there. The artist, having created this myth, invited us to understand deep and important truths. But which ones? It is necessary to understand each of us, one by one, because paintings, real paintings, do not tolerate fuss and noise. We close lips, we put fingers, and we utter in a whisper, shh.